preview days for the 2019 North American International Auto Show will kick off at Kobo tomorrow. The show opens with the awards for the car, truck, and utility vehicle of the year. So, who could take home the Oscars of the auto industry? The car coach Lauren Fix and awards juror Paul Bryan are with us in the studio. Both of you jurors, in fact. Yes. So, you have some special insight that we want to know. So, let's start with the possibilities for car of the year. Okay, well, there's three great choices. And I think if you buy any of these nine vehicles that are finalists, yeah. you're never going to walk away going, oh, I made a mistake. Right. These are all great vehicles. So, we'll start off with the Genesis G70. Uh, it's brand new. Genesis is the luxury line for Hyundai. It, and believe it or not, the G80 is an amazing vehicle from previous. This is the G70, which is a German competitor. I mean, this they're a great product. We drove it on the track. Yeah. We both reviewed it. Paul and I are co-hosts on our own show, and, and we were very impressed with the product. And then you go to the Honda Insight, okay. and that's very fuel efficient and an excellent choice if you're looking for something fuel efficient that's got all the design and style. And then thirdly, you've got the Volvo S60 in the wagon, which is the V60, which we drove in Spain. We really loved it. it I love the wagon personally, but the sedan is their big seller. They seem three different vehicles. I mean, very different on the spectrum there. Oh, absolutely. Right. Right. They are, and, and yet at the same time, uh, you're looking at some real breakthrough material, especially w with the Genesis brand. Uh, this is a vehicle that you know, Genesis went out and they hired a great designer, and mm -hmm. then they went out and they actually stole it. <laughs> they did from the Germans. Right, right. So why not? So why not get the best, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. So they, sure, but you know, if you steal from one person, it's stealing. If you steal from a bunch of people, it's research. So, <laughs> so uh, they were able to do that, and, and it's going to be real interesting to see what happens with that. It, but it's hard to decide who's going to yeah. be the winner. Volvo is on a run, though. Yeah. 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 I mean, they've, they've two years in a row. Right. Yeah. They've so done very, very well. And then, of course, we have to talk about what everybody's driving: trucks. And, right. and you guys drove those as well. Right. We get the Chevy Silverado. Which which is all new this year, <laughs> and the GMC truck, which I think the, the multi-use tailgate is really unique. If you haven't seen it, it's got all these different billies. You can have it as a step. You can use it for speakers. You can use it to extend your tailgate. So they, I think they came up with a really great idea. They did, but I, I, I think the big leap forward in this category was the Ram. The Ram, okay. yeah, I think it's, it is a huge leap forward, yeah. not just in towing capacity and performance, but also in technology and safety. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And and face it, this is where car companies yes. make their money. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, it's it's the main source of income for right. them. And it seems like that's where the industry really is going now. Well, people want trucks. Yes. They want things that they have one vehicle. I don't want to have four vehicles. I just need one vehicle to do what I need. Right. So let's talk about the utility class of the year, um, uh, car of the year in that class. What what would you say is probably your most exciting? Of well, it's, the utility is the largest segment. Right. It's, yeah. It's about 60% of vehicles being sold on the road, and because people want that car ride. And it's growing. And it's growing, that's true, and they want the utility. I, I think that the biggest story for us, I'd say, is Jaguar. It is because it's, it's a really radical uh, change for this category of vehicles that are being judged. I mean, you've got the first pure electric vehicle that's being judged in this category and made it all the way through the qualifications and, and we're on the road every week right. uh, driving cars around the United States and around the world yeah. and uh, when we drove the Jaguar they actually put us on a racetrack in Portugal and so it, it was it has, a, it has capability for sure boy sure. howdy yeah. Yeah. impressive and then of course you know because that's an old EV you think about the Hyundai and when you're talking about the Kona is available in the gas and also available in all electric and this is a, this is two vehicles in that category that are sure. avail available in all electric and then the, the third one is the Acura RDX which I got in that vehicle and said wow huge change and that is a big seller for Acura right it's all about luxury it's their best selling uh, uh, SUV mm -hmm. and, and talk about the, the kind of the what this award means to the automakers that win it is it is it imp important award oh, we're 54 jurors just sure. make a decision and by the way none of us know what, who's who won everyone right. asks me that Deloitte has it uh, and they've been really great about supporting our effort uh, the neat thing about our award we're the Oscars of the auto industry sure. because we are 54 independent jurors. Paul and I both do things together for work, but we also do separately. There's all different magazines. There's print, there's radio, there's television, there's internet. And the neat thing is we all make the decision. So this is a very valuable award because it's not an award from one magazine or one outlet. It's very independent and very, and very important because it equals sales. It's one of the few that actually they can say, if I win this, right. I know I'm going to have good sales. Very yeah. quickly, just about the process. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously, you've got all of these individual jurors deciding, but mm -hmm. is there ever a time where there's any collaboration or discussion or crosstalk? 
Maybe um, internally. Among the jurors? Among yeah. the jurors? <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah, there is. Sure. We're after, always comparing after, notes. After yeah. every program, yeah. if we've been out driving the car, you know, everybody sits together and uh, we have a warm cup of coffee and, and, and <laughs> <laughs> discuss the pros and cons of everything that we've driven. Right. And, and that goes beyond the drive program as mm -hmm. well. But as Lauren said, uh, this is so important because this is, uh, apart from all of the other awards, and some of them are really lovely awards, now, this is the set of awards that the manufacturers give a rip about. Yes. This is the one they want. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock yes. when that award is given, there are teams of people oh, who yeah. are going to be in Tokyo, in Seoul, yeah, all in over the Coventry, world. Yeah. And right here in, in Detroit. Yeah. They want to know. And, yes. and this From one, all the brands. It's, it's remarkable. It's, it's it great. Really it's is. amazing the people you get to talk to and, and it's great because the excitement and enthusiasm is something you don't get in the awards world anymore. Well, we, we can't are, wait. We are certainly excited yeah. ourselves. So